Okay, here we have 9.6, a parabola of the form y equals ax squared plus c. So for this one, it's the same thing as the previous topic if you happen to watch that previous topic video. So what we do is we take the base and we set it equal to zero. So we have the base and we set it equal to zero to find the center. And then we make a table with the center here and two x values to the left, two x values to the right, so that we can find the y values and then graph it. Um, and then we also take a note that if the a, the coefficient in front of x squared is positive, it'll go up like a u. And if the a is negative, it'll go downward like a hill. Okay. So we need to know that. So for both of these, if you notice the coefficients in the front, here it's a positive three, and here it's a positive invisible one. So we do know um, that our both of these graphs are going to look like a U shape, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the problem. So if I take the base, the base happens to just be X, and if I equal it to zero, I get zero which tells me that when I create this chart, I'm gonna put zero in the middle and then pick two X values to the left and two X values to the right. And then what am I doing with those X values? I am going to plug them all into this expression to get the Y values. So when I square negative two, I get positive four and positive four minus four is zero. When I square negative one, I get positive one. To take away four, I get negative three. When I square zero, I get zero. And when I take away four from zero, I get negative four. Square one, you get one. Take away four, negative three. Square two, you get four. Minus four, I have zero. So when I graph this, I'm going to have negative two and zero. One, negative one and negative three. Zero and negative four. 1 and negative 3, and 2 and 0. And so the parabola looks like this. So you draw your points. I was off right there, but you get the idea. Um, when you draw the points in Alex, just make sure you hit the graphing icon and it should draw the curve for you. Okay, so now over here, again, 3 is a coefficient because it's not in parentheses with the square. So the base here is just x, and if I set that equal to zero, I just get zero. So we're going to go ahead and um, put zero as our center, and then use two x values to the left, two x values to the right, and we start plugging them in. So negative two squared is four, four times three is 12, and 12 plus two is 14. Plugging in negative one. We get three times uh, positive one, because negative one squared is positive one. Three times one is three, plus two is five. Square the zero, we get zero. Zero times three is zero, plus two is two. One squared is one, times three is three, plus two is five. Two squared is four, times three is 12, plus two is 14. So this one, should be one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So negative two and fourteen way up here, negative one and one, two, three, four, five. One and five. Oh, I forgot zero and two. And then this guy way up here. So it looks like a really skinny graph, but it's like shifted up two units, okay? So, and again, I'm off a little bit. It's probably because I'm not using actual graph paper, um, but if we want to make it better, we'll just do that. There we go. So that's all you need to do for these. You figure out what the points are, you plot them, hit the graph icon, done.